Hi, everyone. It's Jackie. How are you all today? I hope you're doing well. <clears throat> Having a, a great day. So I wanted to share. I did another little shop at my <clears throat> vintage polka dot shop. You know, that's one of my favorite places to shop. And I'm going to move you just a little bit. Hopefully. Yeah, my camera moves. There we go. I just wanted to show you some things that I got. So I got these little coffee dyed tags. We're going to work with those a little later. I got these alphabet cards. Um, they do come from a game. I'm not familiar with this game, but there are various colors and there are um, different letters of the alphabet. And there's two little packs of those in here. I've got some um, cards um, that are English, um, little, you know, vocabulary cards. And I also got these lovely um, vintage flashcards. They're very nice. Um, I love that they, I don't know if you can you see they have this little divot here. I think that's going to be an interesting inspiration for me. And let's see what else did I got. Okay, I got this lovely fabric. This is vintage fabric. It is, I think it's two thirds of a yard. There is a huge amount of this. But, oh my gosh, look at it all. There's so much. It is so gorgeous. It is just gorgeous. Wow, we could almost back a small quilt with that. But it is absolutely beautiful. I absolutely love this fabric. So pretty. So pretty. It's going to make some nice journal covers and some fabric, some flips. I mean, it's, it's a lot of fabric here. Yeah, so I got that. And I also got these lovely handkerchiefs. These are vintage handkerchiefs. And she had a set of these. So let's take a look. Let's bring them over. So there's this one. They all have like a corner. See, there's like one corner that's embroidered as they were <clears throat> in the past. And so this is going to be a beautiful beautiful can you I'm just gonna move that up so you can see the detail of this it's just beautiful so I have that one and this is a gorgeous gorgeous green <clears throat> with this beautiful crochet around the edge and all the way around the edge of the whole thing let's see are you seeing all of that I think so Yes, it does have stains, but that's, you know, that's what you want. could almost do a journal cover with this. How big is this? Let's just see. So if we go from there, it's like, I'm going to go from here. Yeah, it's about 10 and a half. Probably, probably about the same by 10 and a half. So it could be you know, could make a bit of a journal cover if you want it. All right, let's look at the next one. This one is gorgeous. This is the one that really caught my eye in the pack. Isn't that beautiful? And it's just the little applique here on one corner. Just gorgeous. And the linen, this is so smooth. I and mean, you can see my fingers right through. It's so delicate. So very pretty, all that work on the back all hand hand stitched beautiful and then this one that has this has a little bit on um each corner that's the main flower and then it has a little leaf applique on the other corners and then this one which is a gorgeous beautiful beautiful purples and that's, that's really big. This one's bigger than the others. This one is actually um, 
13. It's probably about 13 by, well, it's about 13 by 13 and a half. Probably if I ironed it, it would be a little bit bigger. Yeah, but that's gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Okay. So I got those. She has new stuff in her shop all the time. Just absolutely loved it. And it comes so fast. She ships um, really quickly. I'm going to stick these back in here so they don't get dirty because it's all clean. Um, I'm trying to think when I ordered. I might have ordered this on Saturday. Saturday or maybe even Friday. But it's here in just a few days. And then I also got these um, lovely... They're placemats, you know, the old kind of placemats, and probably still, you go to the diner and you get these type of paper placemats, right? Well, she coffee stained them, and oh, they smell so good. Look at the beautiful coffee staining. These are going to make beautiful pages in books and journals and just, um, you know, backgrounds for different things. They're all so different. They're just gorgeous. I think they're either 10 or 12 in a package of this. And everything she sends is packaged so that it will not get destroyed. <clears throat> this she packaged with this huge legal size coffee dyed file folder, which is fabulous to keep these guys all safe on their journey. Oh, so Emily, once again, thank you so very much. Um, I already sent her a lovely note. Um, and I want to show you, stick these back in here. And as, oh, I'm so sorry, I just whapped my camera because I'm reaching around here. Um, Emily sends the most beautiful thank you gifts. And she always sends me, um, usually, um, something that like what I bought different items that are kind of like what I bought and so this time in my little thank you I mean this is a thank you gift okay this is not something I purchased this is just the thing she sends as a thank you gift let's just pull these out of here so she sent me another beautiful um, handkerchief. This one has no embroidery on it, but I could do my own hand stitching on here and make a beautiful corner on this. It's just beautiful linen. It's a, it's a very, um, pale, pale, pale green. Um, it's, it's beautiful. It's a nice pale green. So I have that beautiful piece. She sent me lots of little goodies. <clears throat> Some one more of those tags, the little tags that I got. Some more of these little letter cards that I have bought. Oh, there's another, another one. Some little um, tags here that she's coffee dyed. Little tiny ones, and some medium sized ones. Those are loads of fun. Um, those over here, there. Some more little envelopes. These are adorable. Envelope and a tag. I love to use these. She sent me these. Um, these would be vintage sight word bingo cards. Very fun. And here, oh, here's a whole bunch more little tags. That one is just a and then here's a couple more bingo cards, money bingo cards. And a, oh, and a telling time, a, bing, a money and a telling time one. Very nice. And what have I got here? Oh, here's some more, here's some more little vocabulary cards. And some of these are just, they have numbers on them, but that's it. And a little thing, a little uh, punch. And then she sent me a couple of beautiful um, coffee dye doilies just gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful. Just beautiful. And she sent me um, a couple of pieces of ledger. Look at the coffee staining. It just, I just smell it because it smells so good. And that's the back. Just beautiful. 
and then she sent me this one. That's a gorgeous piece of ledger paper. And then just a beautiful piece of like a craft paper that'll be beautiful to use as a backing or to put some tags on or something. Lots of lovely things. Thank you so much, Emily. I certainly appreciate your thank you gifts. Um, and it's always a lovely surprise. She always sends a beautiful little note. And um, I always can use the back of her notes as the backing of something. Um, but those are always special little notes. So what I thought we might do with some of these lovely tags is just play around and put some stamps on them. So I'll just get out a few. These are all the same size. Um, and I thought I got out my little stamps. These are all these little guys, and I thought they would fit pretty well. My little owls and birds. Let me see. Can you see those? Are they up too high? Maybe I need to bring them down. And let's see. There's this little bird. I love him. More little owls. Some little just leaves. A butterfly. There's another little flower. And there's some of these that say, like, you're special. I'm not sure that would fit. It might fit on there. There's some more birds. <coughs> these are fun. All right. So I have those that I'm going to use to stamp on here. And then I also brought out my Stampers Anonymous. Um, this is Field Notes. And it's this one. CMS 396 and I thought like some of these would fit like one of these would fit on here I'm gonna move those out of the way now like that would fit on there there's a few as you can see there's quite a few that would fit on these and so to put something on either side I thought would be fun so let's get out uh, <clears throat> an ink pad I'm so sorry I have been I have been sick I am sick I hurt my back last week at school. Um, oh, catching a little lovely that was decided to climb on something they shouldn't have been and fell. And luckily, or not luckily, I was going to catch them. No, luckily, they didn't get hurt. Um, but I did hurt my back. And so I've been out a week, out of school for a week. It'll be a week. But I also caught a cold in the meantime, so it's been like, okay. All right, so let's just see. I i don't know. I think I want to use the darker color of my brown. Looking for my, my little glass stamp thing, but I don't know what that is. That's okay. Let's try. That might be really glary. Let me move that for you. Let's just do one of these little birds. Do we think that guy will fit on there? I think he will. This might be a little tricky because of the little um, tag. I wanna make sure I get a nice amount of ink on here. Sometimes you gotta kinda of get it going. I'm stamping on here just to make sure I can Good. Yeah, that seems to be okay. Get a good little ink on there. And then I'm going to press it down pretty hard. Whoops. Oh, there he is. Very nice. Now, if we turn that over and we take a little number from here, perhaps, like this number. I really would like my glass stamping piece, but I don't think it'll stick to here, actually. Oh, it might. It does. This is a quilting thing. Let's see what we've got here. 
Oh, yeah, that works out good. Okay. There's my bird. It goes this way. This goes this way. So we'll put that right on there like that. And there we go. So we've got book number on that side and the little bird on that side. And I think that would look really cute. All right, let's try a different one. I'm going to try one in black this time and see if we like that one better. I'm just going to wipe that stamp off a little bit. Um, let's just do what I want to do. Let's just do a little bird. This little bird right here. Hmm. pad anymore. I've used it quite a bit. Now it's coming. It's very sticky. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I don't have to ink that. I have. Let me get out my black distress ink pad here. I think this will work better. Probably. Oh, that's very juicy. Whoa, that's that's very juicy. Okay. I'm going to put that on this one, I think. <clears throat> okay, just like that. Oh, that came out rather nice. And then we're going to... Oh, I should probably let that dry just a second. Well, I pick... What are we going to put on that part? Um, let's see. We could do as much of this as we can. <clears throat> let's put this one on to here. Oh, that one doesn't want to stick. Other one's stuck. Well, we don't stick to this side. Maybe it's that side that sticks to better. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's good. Now let's turn this over. Now we're not going to get all of this, and I don't mind that we're not going to get all of it. It's going to go off the edge. That's okay. Okay. And there you have it. That looks great. I think that looks really good. Hmm, I like that one. All right, let's do another one. Let's try. What will we get if we do this butterfly? Um, we know we won't get the whole thing. But I'm wondering. I just want to make sure. And we're just going to put it on here, and whatever we get, we get. And we'll see what we'll get. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's quite cool, I think. Mm-hmm. Yep. I like that. And I'm going to... That's got to dry. So let's do another one of... <coughs> I'm so sorry. Let's use this little flower one here. off that butterfly for a moment and put that one on and we're going to put it oops. Ha! nice oh I do like the way those are coming out how about that huh Yes. Okay, I think on the back of this one, I'm going to put this again. I'm going to really stamp the top of it, though. Let's see. Get that ring up out of the way as much as I can. Oh, look at that. I like it. 
I need to put down a paper, don't I? That's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. You can see better probably if I leave it down there. Yeah, that's going to wipe off of that, and that's okay. Just wipe that off. Doesn't matter. Yep. Really cool. Now, this side, we've got to put down something. We're going to put down this butterfly again. Um, very happy with myself, if you can't tell. Um, very happy with myself about those. Um, yeah, let's keep going. Um, what I was <coughs> thinking, <coughs> excuse me, how about we try this bird on one? Okay. And then, you know, like, these are going to be just all ready to go, aren't they? All ready to go. Is gorgeous. Yep. Let that one dry. Whoops. Doing that. Let's try one. Now, is there anything on this one? No. Let's do this one with just some print. Whoops. Let's do a small, small print like this. This is some pretty small print. And I only really want the. Um... Hello, Miss Emma's. What brings you up? What brings you up here? Just the troublesome? Alright, I'm gonna I may get more than I want, but I just really want to have that middle writing on there. So let's see what we get. Yep, that's what I wanted. Cool. Look at that. So beautiful. Let's put that writing on the back of there too. Right on the back of that one. It, this is this is like the best thing ever. Love it. I love it. All right. So I think did everybody get stamped on both sides? You haven't. You are. Those all did. Yes. This guy is a little bit. He needs more. I'm gonna give him just a light little bit of. There you go. Little text across him. That's good. Um, let's see. All right, so on the back of this one, we've got to put something. Um, maybe we'll just try this one. It's a little circly one. Let's see what we get. Um, it might have to be a little more. Oh, bummer. It sort of went upside down. That's okay. Yep. <coughs> it did. That's okay. That is okay. Oh, that's that rather nice. Here. All right. So I love those. Uh, let's see. Here's another thing I wanted to try with them. I was thinking about pulling out um, my... Sorry if my arm's just in the way. Putting out my little flowers here. Let's see. There should be. There's the little flowers. Yeah, there's some little flowers. Um, let's see. I'm wondering if any of those will fit on these tags or not. Try a couple. See if we have any small enough pieces in here. Not sure. Because they are small, but are they small enough? Hmm. That one could. I mean, I could take this off. It would be easier, wouldn't it, to stamp and things if you just took this off. Here you go, Jackie. Hello. Hmm. Then. <coughs> 
Um, let's see what we can do with this. Just cut around this. I'm cutting rather close because I want to see where it's going to go. know how it'll stick to the metal if it will or not but that's okay if it doesn't it's okay oh I think this is gonna look super pretty on here all right let's see what happens Sort of did. Let me just rub that a little more there and there. Okay. Lovely. That looks really nice. Sticky on there. Let me just make sure that's down. I don't, I'm not going to rub it. I'm just pressing it to make sure it's down on there. That is very nice. And I'm thinking maybe just a little bit of print on there. Just because. And look at that. Yep, I do. I do like it. And there it is. Wow. These are fun. These are fun. Thank you, Emily. I'm happy to have these. And look at that pretty to just hang off a journal. Let me see what do we have for time. I didn't want to make this very long. Um, these are all kind of big. I was wanted to take a pink one, but I think that is too big. It's pretty big to go on with those. Let's see if I have anything else. <clears throat> Sometimes there's a smaller piece that you can pull out. Let me just pull this out. Okay then, I guess I'm pulling the whole thing out. Yoy. Um, like there's a little butterfly. Those are probably still too big. Um, let's see what kind of choices we have. It's a little cactus, but I'm thinking that little cactus is kind of big still. That little yellow one could go on, or that. Those are possibilities. And beautiful little white butterfly. I think I'm going to go with one of these little yellow ones here. This little one right here. Grab one of these out. Okay, and I think that was a very good idea to pull this off. Should have done it, but it worked out fine to stamp with it on there too, so you know, I think either way is fine whatever you choose I think the rubbing is probably better without it okay I'm gonna put that right here Do that, but maybe it's already. Maybe it's already on. All right, that one's very subtle, lovely. I like it a lot. I love how these stickers just really just go right into whatever you're putting them on. It's really pretty. 
I'm wishing I had a little B. Um, but I don't have a little B to go with any of this. So. Um, yeah, there's, funny there's not a little B in, in any of these. There's not a little B. No. Let's put another number on the back of there. Maybe this bigger number. It might even fit right on there. We should find out. Won't we? Now, that's going that way. So we want that to be up that way. And this needs to go this way. And I think we'll let that dry, and I might put some script over it also. I might do that. Um, I just have this, which is script I use for everything. I like it. Just a little. Yep, just like that. That's all it needed, just like that. Those were so much fun. Wow. Wow. So those are going to be fun to have about just to put on different um, journals or, you know, the covers or on the pages or whatever and have them dangled down. Or you could take it off and you could just put it on like that, too. But you would just want to do one side if you're going to glue it down, of course. You could even um, take some little pieces of lace, you know, and glue on one side. That would probably look really pretty, too with some of that. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching and I hope you're having a wonderful day and um, please give this video a like and a comment, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't. And I do appreciate all of you who have subscribed and for all the new people who have subscribed and uh, thanks. Yeah. Thanks so much. And I will see you again soon.